<laughs> hey, we got a twofer. Okay, if you're just joining us, uh, remember to silence your phones. Kirk, good season. Give us an overview, please. Um, yeah, I just I, I couldn't be more proud of um, our program and our players. Um, obviously, ran up against a great Florida team, and just came up one run short. But I mean, like I told them, just the story. And the journey that they took us on this year will never be forgotten. I think it completely changes our program in terms of of what they did from the middle part of the season until now. I just think that it's over. Um, but I've never been more proud of a group. Okay, we'll start for questions for the student athletes. And uh, just raise your hand and we'll get you, get a mic to you. Aaron, thank you. Uh, Aaron Fit, D1 Baseball, for, for both of you guys, I mean, kind of expounding upon what Coach just said about this group, maybe the lasting impact that this team will have on, on the program and the run that you guys have been on. What has what this kind of meant to you guys? Curtis, you start, please. Yeah, no, it's definitely uh, meant a lot, especially whenever two months ago after we got swept by West Virginia, you know, we had a decision to make um, in the course of where the season was going to go and, you know, I think as a unit, we just came together and we played the TCU brand of baseball. And there's no nothing that, that can really compete with that. And, you know, just from that point on, it's just been awesome. Uh, just watching this team develop and the friendships that we've all had. Um, it's the tightest group that I've ever been a part of. And, you know, it's just been a phenomenal group. Right. Yeah. Just like you were saying, you know, like not everybody thought we were going to be at this point uh, in the year where we're at right now. Um, and I just can't say enough about, you know, all my teammates, all the staff, everyone who's been here to support us all. You know, I'm very lucky to be a part of this team. Like Curtis said, this is one of the most tight-knit group, uh, group of people I've ever been around. And like I said, just, just very, very lucky. Very, very happy to be a part of it. Okay, next question. I'll jump in. I mean, just the other thing, too, sorry, but this is Coach Winkler's daughter, Cole. You want to say hi to everybody? <laughs> but, I mean, this is the type of – kids I get to be around every single day is you know we just lost a ball game and Braden Taylor has coach Winkler's daughter Cole up here with him they just the stories are endless in terms of the, the kids that we have in our program you know and um, you know it it just speaks for itself in terms of who we get to be around every day wish we had a nameplate for her uh, next question okay Gary Gary Lewis with Killer Frogs. This is for both Curtis and Braden. Um, yesterday, by making by making it to today, um, TCU baseball becomes the sixth program in TCU this academic year to make it to the national semifinals. What does that say to you and to be a part of that, and what does that mean for TCU sports? Braden, you begin. Um, <clears throat> well, it just it's it's really cool to be a part of you know such a great school. Uh, you know, us in the fall as a baseball team, we would always go to all the football games. Uh, watch what they did. They had a phenomenal run. Uh, we take we take what we learned from them. Same thing with basketball. Uh, it was it was just super super cool that you know a, a little school in Fort Worth could could do so much. You know, you know I think that plays a lot into our game where people sometimes overlook us. Uh, but yeah, like I said, it's just it's very it's, it's a very special special time to be a, a Horn Frog. Curtis. Yeah, Braden pretty much covered it all. I mean, it's just a spectacular year for TCU athletics, um, and hopefully, you know, that'll get the ball rolling for next year as well. Okay, I'll go right up here first. Charles Baggerly, TCU 360. For Curtis and Braden, what is it? What does it mean to you to lead this group of freshmen, and what do you expect from them as time moves on? Curtis, you start. Yeah, you know. Um, just an amazing group of, of kids. Just, you know, the first day they walked in the door, wide-eyed, and then to see them now, just their development over the the year. You know, Carson Bowen, unbelievable, you know, as, as we've seen all year. Um, you know, it, it's he's done a spectacular job. You know, it just brings, you know, just so much joy to me just to watch his um, process and, you know, his development over the year. 
And, you know, he's like a brother to me, you know, so he is my brother. And it's just the way that the year's been, you know, he's been doing an all, unbelievable job. Um, the pitching staff, you know, they've been doing a great job all year. You know, Cole Klecker, Ben Abel, Louie, they've been doing an awesome job. And, you know, they're in amazing hands going down the road. So um, it's very, very exciting to see those guys in the development and, uh, you know, just the future that they have. So it's very exciting. Brighton. Uh, these guys, uh, this freshman class uh, honestly taught us a lot, you know. It was about, uh, you know, us leading them in the fall, trying to get them accustomed to how, you know, TCU baseball runs. Uh, but they hooked on immediately, and then throughout the season, you know, they're the ones picking us up. So I'm very excited to see, you know, their future. I mean, these guys no longer freshmen, but that was they were no longer freshmen in December. So, I'm just, I mean, like, like Curtis said, I'm, I'm excited to see these guys, you know, and their journeys forward. They're going to have great careers. Aaron. Uh, Eric 51 again. Uh, Braden, got to ask you about the, the final out because you obviously hit that ball really, really well. What did you think? What, what kind of the, the range of emotions uh, off the bat and then going forward? Yeah, I mean, I just I went up there taking my same approach I always do, even though, you know, the moment may have seemed a little bit bigger. Uh, but I was just going up there trying to get a good pitch to hit, put a good swing on it, you know, and I put a good swing on it. I thought it may have had a chance, but, you know, I think a big credit is to Florida, though. Like, uh, Florida's going to be the team to win this thing. I feel like they're a really, really good ball club. And, you know, they just – that that the emotions that ran through my head after that was, you know, I'm just going to – it's, it's going to be tough. You know, not not very many words. It's hard to put into words right now. Okay, any more questions for the student athletes? If not, congratulations on a great season, guys. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. She can stay. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Okay, questions for Kirk. And we'll start here with Matt. Matt Ibrahim's White and Blue Review. Kirk, I imagine like this is kind of one of the things that a coach can't really control when you're sitting 23 and 20, wondering how a group of guys is going to respond to that and which direction they're going to go in. And then 21 and 4 with four one run losses the rest of the way. What kind of characteristics did it take to pull that off, do you think? Um, resilient, hardworking, determined young men that you know, um, decided that they weren't going to lose anymore. You know, and it's pretty it's pretty special when you get, uh, you know, a group of guys that, I mean, the story is, every season has a story, but this, this one's pretty special in terms of uh, where they were and where they finished and being one of the, you know, they finished top four in the country. They were 23 and 20, left for dead. And they just kept showing up, kept working. And if, if they don't hold on to that for the rest of their lives and think about what's possible when you just work hard and believe, I don't know what, what else you could, you could point to because that was pretty special just to see them continue to grow. Okay, Kendall. Kendall Rogers, D1 Baseball. Kirk is somebody who's who's played in this College World Series. How do you put into words just the job that Cole and Ben did as, yeah. as freshmen? I know they're not freshman maturity level wise, but just freshmen on this stage, pretty incredible. Really, really, I mean, you hit the nail on the head in terms of um, Cole and Ben. I mean, I remember my freshman year. But it wasn't like that, you know, in terms of the roles that they had and you know, I mean, they'll they'll take a step back and look at it, and you know, seasons on the line, and all those different things throughout throughout the end of the year, and it it didn't affect them one time. And you know, Cole asked for the ball last night. I didn't know who we were going to start, but you know, Cole shot me a text, and that kind of made my decision. You know, and he's answered the bell every single time, and. The first guy that I wanted to come in after that was Ben because he's done the same. And then obviously finishing with Garrett, he's done the same. So, you know, pretty special kids in terms of their competitiveness and their ability to just simplify the game. That's, 
That's the sign of genius is what they say is you can make the complex seem simple. And I think that's what Cole and Ben and really all of our guys have done. Um, just super proud of, of the way they handled themselves on and off the field. Okay, next question. Back here. Kurt, Michael Farrer with Burke Sports Network. Kind of a two-part question for you here. What are you most excited about for the future of TCU baseball coming back? And then you mentioned earlier about the people behind the scenes. Could you kind of, if you could, tell a story that may have, like, made your year that we may not know about that the people who impact you behind the scenes? Well, I mean, there's so many different, I think there's so many stories. The one that pops into my head right now is our managers. You know, that they donate their time to TCU baseball. They're there longer than we are. You know, whether it be shagging fly balls or helping hit fungos or um, doing the laundry to, I mean, you want to talk about, like, those are the people that make a program special is when you have people that, don't ever get any credit. You know, they're kind of behind the scenes. They don't get the credit. But, man, they they make our program go. And, um, you know, to our bullpen catcher. To, I mean, all those things, it's like you, you, you don't really realize until you don't have those people that want to donate their time. You know, and we have a, we have a, a huge manager pool of, of kids that just love TCU baseball and love to serve. And, um, you know, those guys are – are pretty special in our program and are treated just like our players are. And um, I already forgot your other part of your question. Oh, moving forward with TCU baseball. I mean, we hadn't been here in six years, and the guys were tired of looking at the, you know, the 2010, the 2014, 15, 16, and 17 signs in left field and the old pictures that are in our classroom to all those different things. And we'll have some updating to do because this, this group, you know, did some special things that, that um, you know are going to be they'll be able to come back and show their kids and do all those things because they've they definitely I think w was one of the best stories of the year in terms of who they are and what they did and so super proud of the fact that you know it doesn't they won't feel it right now but when they come up for air and understand and realize how difficult it is to get here and the way they played there's some long lasting memories that that uh, won't go away. Okay, any more questions for Kurt? If not, thank you. Yeah, thanks, Bill. Hey, Rex, thank you. Thank you.